Hello everyone, today we are doing a quick analysis to this beam problem. This is a problem from Shigley's book and our goal is to find the deflection at point B uh, with the forces provided at these two locations, 24 inches from the origin and 48 inches from the origin. This is a circular beam with an outside diameter of 2 inches and 1.5 inches for the inside. At the end, we will compare the results against the hand calculations. So let's begin by creating a, a new part. This problem is in inches, so we're just going to confirm that we have the right unit and hit OK. Next, we select the front plane and let's do a line. We're, we're going to do two lines and the reason for this is because SOLIDWORKS is going to create a joint at this location so we can use that for for to create to place the the forces um, so this one here is 24 24 inches and this is also 24 inches so if you recall one force is going to be placed here and the other one is going to place here so we need to create um, a joint at this location so we can use it for that force so let's hit OK. Now we're going to go to Weldments. If you don't have that, you can just go to Tabs and check mark the Weldments. Structural member. Here you can select any size. It doesn't matter because we are changing the profile of the beam anyway. So after you select the, the two lines, hit OK. So as you can see, this, this profile, we need to modify it to our problem. So left click sketch and hit edit sketch. So we can delete this and hit yes. So now we're going to make our required profile. Make sure you use this, the origin point for the new profile. So this is, according to the problem, this is 2 inches. And the inside diameter is 1.5. Let's hit OK. And this is our beam. So now we're ready to go to simulation. And let's create a new study. We can call this beam deflection study hit ok first thing we need to do is apply a material to the beam because we are calculating the deflection so according to the problem this is an aluminum 7079 so we can go to the aluminum section double click and search for the 7079 aluminum and it's right here hit apply and close now we need to apply a uh, fixture so we're going to use for this problem we're going to use a fixed geometry and you can either select this joint or the other joint doesn't matter we're selecting this one here joint and if you want to see that symbol a little bigger, you can always increase this number here, 200. So you can see the constraints. So that's our fixture. Next, we need to apply the external load. We're going to do a single point force. So these are the joints that SOLIDWORKS created because we created two lines. So I we're going to be using that for the forces. So right here, click on joint and let's select the first. We're going to be using the top plane as the as the reference because the, the force will be normal to that top, top plane. So units, IPS, and let's select normal to plane. 
this force is 300 pound force and the direction of the force is opposite so we can just click on this box and again if you want to see that symbol a little bigger we can make this 200 hit ok we're going to apply the second second force at the end of the beam again let's click uh, on the joint let's select that so we're going to place that force normal to the top plane make sure you change the, un the units and let's go here this is 200 pound force again that force is in the opposite direction we're just gonna reverse and let's increase the size of the symbol now hit okay now we're ready to start the simulation and let's run it so this is our result so we can go to the displacement section and let's double click on that so we can change the unit let's make this inches um, we're going to make this a true scale because right now this is a little exaggerated so we're going to make that true scale on the ch chart options we can um, display the maximum and the minimum and the decimal places we can make this two so looking at this result at point b the maximum deflection is 1.94 inches so now let's compare that to the hand calculated value so if you scroll down so this is a typical formula for a for a beam with two forces um, such as this one here and after putting all this those numbers they obtain 1.94 inches deflection at point B and that is exactly what we obtain using SOLIDWORKS simulation and this concludes this tutorial thank you for watching